Alrighty guys, back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play Forget Forbidden Memories. <laughs> Alright. Okay, just plan to do uh, a few grinding duels today. Grinding for some good uh, dragons and thunders and whatnot. And if nothing else, some star chips. Uh, speaking of star chips, let's see how many we got. 37. Okay. Uh, in between this episode and the next few, I'll look up some uh, look up some codes, some uh, passwords, and see if we have enough. So, but for now, let's just get into it. All right. So let's start with. Rex. All right. I forgot if we got anything good at the end last time. Weather control. Nah. All right. Me like this. Here we go. It's time to duel. Okay. Trying to remember some infusions here. Alright. Just go with red butter. Mm. Pretty good start, Rex. Pretty good start. 2100. We definitely need to replace our power up Valtrums. Something that works on more monsters. See what that award looks like when you guys see it. Mock punch again. That was pretty cool. 
Nice job, Battle Warrior. He, so far, he does indeed fight with his bad hands. But yeah, that Mark Punch looked cool. Alright, what do we get here? B rank? Little D. Aw, yeah, we got another one. Nice. And of course, Rex is the dino guy, so you can expect to win uh, some pretty good dinos from him. Uh, but yeah, let's put another little D <laughs> into the deck. <laughs> I mean, because Cyber Zar is, is our kind of spirit monster in this so far. Uh, let's check out the attack stats. Alright, I know we just got Grappler, uh, and I did want to try to fuse Reptiles and some stuff, but... Uh, you know what? Uh, no, wait, wait, do we have a different... Do we have a weaker Dino? Let's see if we have a weaker Dino first. Okay, yeah, Tomazaurus. We can take out Tomazaurus. Yeah, a deceitfully small creature that is so vicious it attacks both friend and foe without discretion. Wow, that sounds uh, deadly, but I'm uh, gonna rock with little D. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Just, I'm, I'm so juvenile. Every time I say that monster's name, or like Dig B. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna lump out. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got a fire. This is also a zombie. Uh, we have this, so, you know, that just means we're gonna draw uh, a machine here pretty soon. Part of the card, you know. Uh, let's just roll with uh, zombie ward. And uh, just zombie. Well, no, no, wait, wait, wait. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Dude, you got a mystical sand right here. Whoops. Okay, good thing I noticed that before I ended my turn here. Alright, Rex, what you got? Another Black Dragon Jungle King? Nope, no fusing first this time. Alright, alright. Uh, Hurricane. Hmm. I did want to try this with some stuff. Make sure it's a spellcaster like everything else. So let's try it with, uh, Fire Reaper. Let's see if we get Magical Ghost. The mask, the mask of darkness. We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. And most of you probably remember or recognize the mask because it was in our first starter deck. You know, when we failed to get Villager 3 unlocked. Oh man, I wish I had kept my uh, fire. We could have made Fluffy here. That's okay though. Uh, let's just, uh, let's see Little D in action here. Mercury. Barney, another mask. Wow. This guy's ready for the purge. Just kidding. Oh, yeah. I hope you guys are doing good today. And, uh, we're just gonna have a nice chill day. Hopefully get some good cards. Because, uh, yeah, we still gotta get past Pegasus in the tournament, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna need some good stuff. Just like uh, those dinos from Jurassic Park. Classic roar, man. Alright. Direct attack time. Thunderbolt. I guess Magical Ghost does have Thunderbolt. Kinda, no wonder she uses Thunderbolt in this game. Look at the background. It does look like she's using a Thunder spell. This creature casts a spell of terror and confuse her just before attacking its enemies. Yeah, I never really thought about that before. Pretty cool, Magical Ghost. Pretty cool. Defense mode. Huh? All right, let's see if we draw a Battle Warrior. I uh, know. Okay. Well, it looks like we're gonna win here. So let's just let's see Two Mount Dark Roller in action. I don't think we've ever showed his animation. Uh, ooh, we got a weak Guardian Star. Dare I do it? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's have some fun. Oh, speaking of Dig Beak, <laughs> Rex has a Dig Beak, and I have a little D. <laughs> it's funny because I literally made that joke like about two minutes ago. <laughs> Alright, twin headed thunder dragon baby form. It's like in Pokemon, like first they have a, uh, you know, a uh, regular Magmar, and then they decided, you know what, let's make a baby Pokemon. And then that's why they made two mountain dark balloons. Man, I 
love the music in this game. Alrighty, let's, uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I think I just gave him another turn, didn't I? Uh, yep. 24, that's my bad, guys. So if we get a bad rank on this, that is totally my bad. Oops. Give him one turn. Okay. You know, plus I attacked with two mount dark, dark roll for fun, so. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so let's pick Moon this time. Kind of glad I waited now. Moon. All right, Battle Warrior. Let's see if you only fight with your bare hands. <laughs> We're going to see your other attack now. Nice. You get to show off one of Joey's signature cards from Battle City. Mister, that was a kick. You lie. You lie, Battle Warrior. You don't only use your bare hands. You a lie. <laughs> but he used like so he used the spin kick and mock punch, basically. Oh man. If only they gave him two different animations, like mock punch and uh, see they gotta give him like sky uppercut. Oh man, how cool would that be? You know, see him basically do uh down, down, forward, uh, down, down, diagonal, down, forward, and then forward, and then square with Ryukin. Oh man, that would have been cool. In Warrior number one. Hey, I'm surprised we still got an S pal for that. All right, but like I said, we just wanted to see Battle Warrior stuff, so let's take him out of our deck now. Yeah, thanks, Battle Warrior. Oh, we gotta fight with his bare hands, nah. All right, let's see what we can put in here. Uh, I guess I could put back in, uh, well, we could try this with our fire. Maybe that'll make the special fusion I was thinking of a couple episodes ago. Yeah, that, I don't know if that's high standard or not, or we need like a 1400 point uh, wing beast, but, uh, we'll see. Duel. All right, and Mystical Sand once again. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. This time, let's roll with something different. Ushiyomi. Yeah, Ushiyomi. I like it. I like the design of Ushiyomi. It's basically like a, a, a Oni form of Bajian. It's so cool. All right. Let's see. Oh, we got one remains. Oh, we can just, just do Pumpkin straight up. That's nice. Guardian Star. Nice. All right, Ushiyomi, direct attack. We're doing good here. Oh yeah, what time are we at on the video? Uh, about uh, 16 minutes, according to what I see here. Okay, let's see some fusions here. Get Yamatano Dragon Scroll. Let's go with this. Soldier helped us so much, so, so, so much throughout my uh, Let's Play of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dawn of Destiny. Man, we summoned that monster like hundreds of times. Okay, let's try some new fusion here. Let's try a fire. Oh, wait, I think we have tried this before. Doesn't this make um, the fire tortoise? Yeah, giant turtle who feeds on flames. That's a pretty unique fusion. Let's see it attack. Another penguin soldier. Ah, penguin soldier, I love you, buddy. I love you. One of my favorite flood cards of all time. <laughs> I actually heard they made a synchro monster, <laughs> like a new synchro monster for penguins. Uh, this is like, mm, about, oh, giant turtle looks cool. But yeah, I heard they made a new synchro for penguins. And like, and now penguins are now an archetype. I heard the synchro was actually. You know, it's not like gonna be tier one or oh, rapid spin, bro. Withdraw and rapid spin. That was cool. That was so cool. Good job, man. Oh, you spin me right round, right round, dude. That was awesome. That looked. You might be 
one of my favorite flood cards in this game, Giant Turtle who feeds on flames. Well, no, I don't think anyone can replace Kai Ryushin, but, uh, or Penguin Soldier, but, yeah. <laughs> Yep, but yeah, I heard penguins are now like, you know, well, they're definitely an archetype now, is what I heard. All right, let's back out of here and save real quick. All right. Okay, we'll go back in. I think we have time for maybe one more. Okay, so besides Rex, let's duel against, uh, are there any cards I want to win from these guys? Actually, there are quite a few cards. You know what? I'll start next episode. We actually want to try to S-Tech, which is a new way of winning, against Yami Bakura. So, we'll try... Mm, do I have the, enough cards to do an S-Tech against them, though? Maybe not yet, but you know what? Next episode, we'll try. I'll try to show you guys what a, what a S Tech looks like, because there are some good cards you can win by S Tech and Yami Bakura. Uh, for now, well, let me just go Villager Two here. Try to get some thunders from Villager Two or Three. But yeah, we'll we'll try a new way of dueling next episode, and I can kind of explain how to S Tech and what an S Tech is. So. All right. What we got here? We got a jar, spellcaster. Uh, yes, we do. Ushioni, you're up again, buddy. Alright. Good to see you. Turn to him, though. Play the second card in his hand. Alright, villager number two. Ah, oh, nice. And we got another rock. Ushioni attack. We haven't seen him attack yet today. Stone Armadillo. I wouldn't mind winning that card from uh, you. Not at all. high-level beast, you get, um, oh, and you know what, let me not spoil it, because maybe I can make it another way, but you do get a, like, a fusion. I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about, but I'm not going to spoil it. I'm going to try to make it another way. Whoa. All right. Oh, she's like an illusion, almost like a spirit monster. That's interesting. Water element. What are you going to use? Fireball attack? Oh, I called it. Molten Go Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, Fireball Attack. That was pretty cool. Yeah, and it makes sense that this would use that. I mean, that's what Yuki's used. Although Yuki used the uh, Wing Dragon and Guardian of the Fortress number one. But it does make sense that they would have basically the same attack, you know. So, yeah, so we'll try that, that uh, fusion I'm thinking of with, uh, with a different kind of winged monster. Yeah. Or maybe like a higher level one. Yeah, maybe the wing monster needs to be 1400, maybe. Now let's see what we can do here. Let's make... Oh, does this make Black Man Fire Dragon? I need to know. Oh, it does not. Interesting. So some spellcasters with uh, this will make uh, Black Man Fire Dragon, and some will not. Okay. That's good to know. I'm kind of glad I tried that, uh, just in case, you know. I wouldn't want to make that mistake against, like, Pegasus or something. 
Interesting. All right, we'll probably get like a B or an A, because I did uh, knock out quite a few cards. Yes, wow, oh, Turtle Raccoon, okay. I might put that in my deck, just because Turtle Fusions seem to be like a, uh, a thing of their own. Let's check out some of our Aquas here. Yeah, this is Turtle Raccoon. A fox-like creature with a protective shell, but I'm, sh I'm, I'm sure it's treated kind of like Monster Turtle is. So let's look at our Aquas in our deck. Because I would prefer them to be Turtles, because it seems like Turtles can go into more unique fusions. Although both of these waters are female, so that's also pretty good. Um, okay, let's instead look at our zombies, or maybe our flowers here. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... And take out vile germs. This equip doesn't seem to work on too much, so yeah, let's go ahead and take that out. Yeah, all right, guys. Well, okay, let's go back and save. And I think that's gonna be the end of this first episode for today. Uh, but yeah, in between episodes, like I said, I'm going to uh, see if we can get a password here. And we got 55 star trips. Okay, okay, okay. So actually, let me just leave it on the password screen for the outro. So yeah, I'll look up uh, some passwords. We might be able to get one or two cards, probably just one. And then uh, yeah, I'll come back in and we'll try to S-Tech for the first time against Yami Bakura. I might be trying a little too early, but I want to see if we can get it. Because uh, yeah. All right. See you guys all next time. Bye-bye. This game's so fun. I, lo I love recording this game. <laughs> yep, if you're thinking about trying this game out for yourself, I definitely get it. Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Man, very fun.